guys, it's Adam, and today I'm going to do something a bit different. This is a day in the life of a reseller video, um, and I've wanted to do these for a, one of these videos for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to be sourcing today, I'm going to be packaging, I'm going to be at the post office. I don't know if I'm actually going to film at the post office. Um, we're going to be sorting out stock that I actually got today from Altrincham, where I'm going. Um, obviously... Uh, I will be filming sourcing as well. Um, we will be um, yeah sorting stock to list. I won't be f be able to film photography because the photography process because of my phone being used for photography. Um, and then what I'll do is at the end of the day I'll give you an update on to how many things I've actually managed to list in the day. Um, so yeah, quite a lot to look forward to. Um, I've got I will be getting some new editing software today or tomorrow so which is really really good software it allows me to do so much it allows me to put picture overlays in the video it allows me to split the video in two and maybe on this side of the video I'm actually doing something completely different in another video entirely and then this side of the video I'm talking to you so it's really cool um, I can obviously do all the same things I do with the current editing software like overlay music um, you know add voiceovers and things all, all, all that sort of stuff um, but it'll, it's just a better software overall and it means the quality of the videos again improves for you guys which is what I'm all about um, and I love editing I really do I've really gotten to enjoy it um, there's some days where I think oh I can't be bothered but there's most of the time I absolutely love it um, so yeah, anyway, that's what we've got today. Hope you enjoy this video, guys. Um, and I'll just put some things on the shelves that I listed last night. This is what I do every morning. I list in the night time, and, and I put all my listed, all my ready-to-list stock on the photo area after I've photo, photographed it. And then in the morning, every morning, I will move the newly listed stock onto the cupboards. Um, so I'll do that cupboards i mean shelves um so i'll do that and then we will uh, go go sourcing i think so yeah see you soon guys
Hi guys, I'm in Tesco at the moment and I'm just looking for some things to scan. Um, I don't know where the clearance section is, so this is just like loads of toys that are on retail price. Um, so yeah, hope you liked the video so far and yeah, I will uh, just go and see if I can find some clearance stuff to scan. You like that montage or that um, sort of sequence of charity shop um, runs uh, yeah I went to I think it was like seven six or seven however many there are in Altrincham I went to that many basically I went to the Tesco you will have seen oh here's my mum you will have seen um, me go to the Tesco and basically try and find some stuff on clearance I did get a couple of bits which I'll show you at home um, but it's been a really profitable day today. I got some things that I don't usually get. Say hi, you're on camera. Hello. Um, yeah, so it's been a really profitable day for things I don't normally get. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll show you the haul at home. But first, we're going to keep TK Maxx, aren't we? we you're are. excited. We are. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll go to TK Maxx, we'll get home, I'll do a haul video and get some get the packing done and get off to the post office. See you soon guys. Hi guys, it's Adam, and today I've got a whole video for you. I'll just tell this slightly this way. Seems a bit there. Um, right, anyway, so yeah, I've got a haul for you um, from today's uh, charity shops and TK Maxx and Tesco. Uh, yeah, it was really good going out a bit further. Um, managed to pick up some cracking stuff. Um, I'm sure John and uh, Josh will be a bit annoyed because all this is on their doorstep and I managed to grab most of it. Uh, there is some okay things, some good things, some not so great things, but it's a real mix. Um, so yeah, I suppose we'll just get into it. So first off, we have some jeans. What What's this doing on my channel? Jeans, bloody hell. Um, these are really nice condition. The groin, you know, the, I, I, I've like watched people's videos who do like jeans and stuff and they always say to look at the groin and to look at the is it the hems I think these are called the bottom bits but yeah but fan fantastic condition there's a bit of fluff there but that can come off anyway wherever it is a bit of fluff just come off anyway um, but yeah fantastic condition these are just your generic but well not a ge not a really bad brand or anything, but a fairly generic brand of top man. You know, n none of the like Versace or anything like that. But um, yeah, I paid up on these because I thought, um, well, I, w I was under the inclination that they're worth about sort of 15 to 20 quid, and that would be right. I, I, I would be right to, to be inclined to think they are worth that because they are. Um, but yeah, so I I paid up, paid four fifty for these. I'll just show you the tag. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see this again. It's really annoying. Can you even see that? I don't even know. Four fifty, it says anyway. Um, but yeah, these are like twenty eight R, so twenty twenty eight regular, which was what I used to be, but now I'm thirty. Um, yeah, I'm so sad. I'm getting fat. Uh, anyway, so yeah, they were something a bit different. I pay. I decided to pay up just so that then I can get them, and you know, selling them will give me a bit more confidence in the whole clothing region. 
so yeah got those they were nice um i got don't know whether i've done right or wrong with this it's not a very nice design not a very great design um but it says christian dior there oh this is terrible christian dior um 199 paid i don't know i mean i might need to bundle it with another couple of ties from different makes for it to be worth anything or it might be worth something on its own i don't know and then another tie i seem to be buying ties quite a bit at the moment um this one is great for the south park lovers which doesn't include myself but yeah it's great for the south park lovers it's actually made by m and s saint mike oh it's saint michael so it's the vintage brand or well, but I think it would be vintage, but anyway. Uh, two pack, £1.99 paid again on that, so I might pay up a bit for that, but I don't know, it might be worth something. Um, right, yeah, this is FBA. Ah, there's some more eBay items back here. Oh, there's another one over there, actually. I'll get this first. Another glass Stella Artois one. Um, quite a nice one, that. Quite cool. I still need to to bundle another one in with it i can't really sell it on its own it won't be worth it won't be worth worth selling it on its own really um right more ebay stuff this is again another thing you do not see on my channel sylvanian families i don't know if you can see that that's the bakery oh no it's the other way around that's the play this is the play side this is the front so yeah, this is the bakery, I think it's called. Water, Watermill Bakery. Unfortunately, there is no accessories except this little thing here. Little cake on a platter. Sorry, the light's really bad, but you know, there's not a lot I can do really. Um, now I know that these don't tend to sell very well without the accessories. And I've got this for £3.50, which I thought was a fair price to be honest. I don't know whether you can see that, £3.50. Um, put that down there. And then I've got this thing, again with no accessories. Um, just like a little camper van. Again for £3.50 as well. Let's see if you can see that. £3.50. Um, again, no accessories or anything. Uh, to be honest, it's not the best inside. Looks like some things need to be done inside there but um yeah um i don't know i, I think we'll probably it'll probably be okay just to sell on their own without accessories and i could still make okay money um or i might buy some accessories and you know a, a couple of cheap figures or whatever um and then obviously um yeah and then i could sell it with them and i might get a bit more money but i don't know i'm really not clued up on the sylvanian family stuff so um yeah, anyone who knows about this stuff, I know like Ben, Rachel, Steve Hawkins, I think, sold some. Um, yeah, there's quite a few people out there selling this stuff. But if you know anything about it, um, just sort of shoot me an idea of what to do with it. Should I bundle it with figures or sell them on my own or, you know, whatever. I just don't know at the moment. Um, I, I intend to probably um, leave the research for them till sort of Thursday or Friday anyway um, but you'll probably watch this video like Friday or Saturday so I'll probably already done the research so maybe there's no point in even commenting about it but anyway <laughs> it doesn't matter I'm, I'm losing track of time again I don't like this doing a video and then waiting three days to upload it because you've seen it and then I'm saying something for you to do and then there's no point in you even doing it so anyway um, right now on to FBA stuff uh, only uh, oh no there's only a couple of charity shop purchases for FBA uh, Spider-Man 3 UMD yeah good I thought I was thinking oh god it's not Spider-Man 3 and I was researching Spider-Man 3 in the shop but it actually is um, this amazingly i don't know why i don't know how amazingly on fba not no not even on fba on merchant fulfilled it sells fairly regularly i checked camel in the shop and um it's on merchant fulfilled for 39 
So FBA, probably looking about four, 49, you know, 50 quid basically. So yeah, really happy, paid 199 for that. And as I say, it sells regularly, there's 199. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. So I said, uh, actually I'll do this other charity shop purchase and then I'll get onto the other FBA stuff um, from TK Maxx and that. So this is a Star Wars, Star Trek figure. I think it's, I don't, I wouldn't say vintage actually. 2009, nowhere near vintage. Um, but it's cool and I can't, I, I paid 5 99 for it. But there was good reason why I paid that. It was like 31 on FBA or something. Um, I think that was new and I might have to, uh, yeah, I will sell this as like new. There's a bit of shelf wear around and stuff, but I'm still gonna get an easy sort of 24, 25 for that. So yeah, I don't, I can't remember the exact prices because I was researching loads of things today for FBA. So as I say, I can't remember exact prices, but there was good money in it anyway. All oh, right, where am I gonna put these? Where did I just put that other one? Oh, there. Uh, right, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to struggle for space. I'm trying to sort things out so I've got space. Um, Monster High dolls, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I suppose the, I suppose they are called dolls. These. Um, for some reason, I want to call them something else of, other than dolls, but figures, like articulated figures, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I got three of these from Tesco's in um, Altrincham, the big one. They were clearing them at six quid each, and I think we were going on FBA for nineteen quid. So it doesn't leave a whole lot in it for me, but there's certainly money in there. It's sort of like five, five, six quid in there. I think it said on the uh, Amazon seller app fee calculator thing when I was putting in my numbers and stuff. I think it said like six pound something profit. Four of them, but there's only three on the shelf. So that's those. So I put these down here as well. I picked this up from TK Maxx. It was um, three pounds. This I've taken the sticker off, but there, three pound. Um, yeah. So uh, I I was umming and ahhing about this. I knew it wasn't really worth paying three pound for, but I was thinking at Christmas it, it'll probably go up in value, so I could keep it till Christmas. And I know on eBay I could get sort of a tenner for it. So, yeah, it's not really worth the three quid that I paid. But um, I'm hoping, I'll just save that for Christmas. And I'm hoping, it, you know, the price will go up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I got that. And then I got this guy for £8. Again, in the clearance section. Basically, if you don't know what TK Maxx is, it's like a discount store. And they just have like rows and rows of random products on on the shelves a lot of new and sealed stuff like tons um now i have to scan i scanned about 60 percent of that stuff and it was utter crap i mean like there, it, there was either no listings on amazon there was um no sales ranks on amazon um there was too high price on amazon so you really need to dig in tk maxx is what i'm saying you really do um but yeah this guy i think it, he was going for like 20 quid or 25 quid i can't remember exactly but there was enough profit in it for me anyway um but yeah again i will have to sell that as like new but i did factor in that uh that in um, when I was buying it, I did factor in the fact that I would have to lower the price for it being like new uh, Before I bought it or else I wouldn't have bought it. So yeah, that's that one uh, Then I got one of these Transformer helmets again from TK Maxx um, Where's the thing on this? There Our price $7.99 and this is going for 20 quid um, so when I did the Amazon fee calculator again, it, it said weirdly that the Amazon fees would have would have been like four pounds something, but that's less than twenty five percent. So normally I work off like 35, 40 percent for Amazon fees at least. So yeah, that that's what makes me things like that make me sort of distrust the Amazon seller app fee calculator. Um, 
But yeah, there's, there's money in it. There's still some money in it, but probably about a fiver. It did, as I say, it did say on the Amazon seller app that there's about eight quid in it, profit, because um, it said the Amazon fees were like really low. But I'm pretty sure that there's probably going to be about six quid in it or five quid in it. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to package that up. But anyway, should be okay. This there is good money in. Um, this was quite a nice one. Ten pound. I paid for it on reduced. It's not. I did. You have to also make sure at TK Maxx that you go around every bit of bit of a sealed product, so that then you know there's no rips or tears, and there isn't on this one. Um, now I think someone was selling it for twenty six pound plus four pound odd postage. This one, so thirty quid. But I, I, as I say, I can't remember. I just know that this one was a really good money maker. So um, I'm thinking there's sort of going to be at least at least sort of ten to fifteen pound in this one. So that was good. Um, and I think that's everything. One, two, three, four. Sylvanian families. Glass. I did the glass, didn't I? Yeah. Right. That's everything. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just basically put some of this stuff away into my FBA boxes. Um, I'm going to put all the eBay stuff on here and then I'll get sorting that. Um, I don't think I'm going to film this bit because, to be honest, I'll end up just speeding it up anyway and it's not really exciting or anything. I'm just literally putting things away. Hi, guys. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up the day there. It's about six. No, it's actually nearly seven o'clock now. Um and as you can see clearly all the stock and the bags and the boxes are just piled everywhere still so i don't think i'm going to get to listing much tonight i probably do i'm thinking i'll probably get to list three of these items so um yeah hopefully i'll be able to list three or four um yeah so i will probably start processing it another day um yeah i've got loads of stock down there as well to process um so yeah I, I, all i need to do with the fba stuff is just whack that in a box somewhere so i'll probably do that tonight and i'll probably photograph and sort the bits that are easiest to do um and then just list those um and yeah that so i think i think that'll do it for this video guys thanks for sticking with me um i don't know how long this video will have been now but it must have been I don't know, 20, 30 minutes by now. Um, so thanks for sticking with me. Um, hopefully I did get around to putting those editing techniques to use um, and the new editing software, um, hopefully that's all up and running and, and things are going well with that. So I did, the reason I've not done any of this in the last hour is because I've been messing around with the editing software. So um found out how to do bits and bobs. So hopefully... Um, there'll be a new intro at the start of this video. Um, hopefully I'll get around to doing that. And um, there should be just some a few different techniques um, placed in this video. If not, there will be a few different editing techniques being used in the future. Now I've got this awesome editing software. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there guys. As I say, not the most productive day. Um, I would have liked to get round to listing a few more than I am going to. Um, but that's just the way it goes. Other things come into play and, you know, you, you end up not doing the, the things you wanted to do in the first place. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely have a tidy up of this room tonight. Definitely put the FBA stuff away. And yeah, as I say, hopefully I can get round to listing a few. But anyway, I'm just repeating myself now. Um, so yeah, I will leave it there guys. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and uh, please give it a comment below if you enjoyed it or if you didn't, you know, just your thoughts on the video. So yeah, see you soon guys. <laughs>